Hello, I'm Chuck Suscheck, professional scrum trainer with scrum.org. I want to tell you a little story. Now don't take this wrong. We all know how babies develop before they're born. It's not like this. We grow a torso for two months to perfection and then pop, pop out a leg and grow that to perfection for a month and then another leg to perfection and an arm and an arm and finally after eight months we pop out a head, grow it to perfection and then deploy. That's not the way babies are developed as they start to get ready for bo being born. We grow one subsystem at a time. We start out as a collection of cells, look like a polywog for a little while, and then all of our subsystems start to grow so that if, heaven forbid, we have to have an early deployment after seven months, we have a viable product. Maybe not a perfect product, but a viable product. If you liken that to software development, Oftentimes people will work on a database, get the database layer complete, put it on a shelf, and then get the API layer complete, put it on the shelf, and then go to the UI area, put that on the shelf, auditing, last thing, reporting, put that on the shelf, each layer of the architecture to completeness, then putting it on a shelf. If you start to run into trouble, you cannot have an early deployment because of this. If, on the other hand, you can vertically slice the architecture so you do a little bit of database and a little bit of UI and a little bit of the API. Then you can learn about each one of those pieces and start to perfect them. If you fall behind, you can deploy that product and it won't be like a headless baby. Not very good. So, when you read about vertical slicing of work and vertically slicing the architecture, think of this analogy. We grow we evolve, each subsystem does. Try to do that with your software development to mitigate the risk of being pushed up against the corner. Thank you.